All right, so today we're going to learn how to do some blade dialing on a Sabre jet. What you want to do is set up your dial indicator on probably an extra blade you have or something metal and heavy. That way it doesn't rock too much. And then you'll want to keep an eye on the little dial on, on the dial indicator. That way you're not off by 100 thou or 200 thou. So you want to be about 3 eighths of an inch below the flange and you want to run your Y axis until you get to zero. And on the little dial it doesn't matter what you're on, just keep in mind what you are on. And I always run negative and then I pick a spot on the blade. This one's marked with a white dot. Re-zero it out. Make sure, and then you run your X positive to the other side, spin the blade, kind of line that dot back up. And this one is zero. If you had to adjust, you would want to use the screen, put the override to 1%, and then adjust your C with the remote. Until this is zero, then you'd capture your reference point. So you want to do the same thing with the A, and with this one you want to run the Z almost all the way down, or at least until you have enough stroke in the ball screw to get that dimension you're looking for. So you'll be at the bottom, zero at your dial, and then run Z in a positive direction. Spin the blade, and if you're at zero, great. If not, you got to adjust it either way until you get to zero, and then capture the reference point. So once you move your cross travel over, you have plenty of play with the nozzle down for when you come back over and it's up, you still can get both readings correctly. You're going to start your arbor to nozzle offset. You'll be measuring the X. The slow button will be your best friend. So what you want to do is come touch the left side of the shaft just a little bit. Sometimes you got to play with it. So once you move in, you'll see the dial move. And sometimes you got to use the one thou button. I usually do. Once you find it is touching, you want to hit the slow button. Run the Z up and down until you find the high spot, which would be right about there. Then you'll go back to the one thou button, use your X minus until you get to zero. Once you're at zero, you'll go hit user zero on the screen. So you'll hit the user zero button, and that'll clear all these values out. So after you hit user zero, you'll come back, drive the machine away, take it all the way up, once it's all the way up, we can drop the nozzle. It will not drop if the Z is not all the way up. So to drop the nozzle, you hit the setup, and then you go into the setup tab, hit jet setup enable, and then you'll go to nozzle and hit down. You come back over here, drive your X, towards the dial, once it touches you'll sweep in the Y direction plus and minus until you find the high spot. Use the one thou button with the X minus, 
until you hit zero, and then you'll record that measurement from the screen and change the offset. So on the arbor to nozzle, after you've touched both points, your X will be the value you need to take. So you go into setup, go into the advanced screen, machine offsets, arbor to nozzle, and it'll be 17, zero, nine, four. Hit OK, the system will power off. Alright, so when starting the nozzle to A, you're in a very tight area. You gotta watch the bolt here, make sure you don't hit the miter box over there in any direction. If you do bump it, don't get frustrated, just restart, try it in a different position, and it'll work out. So when you're in this position, you'll wanna drive your Y negative until you hit. Then you'll run your Z up and down to find the high spot. Just right there. Then you'll use the one thou and the Y negative to get to your zero. As you've seen, that dial jumped a little bit. That's totally normal. So you'll hit the user zero button and that'll clear all these values out. Once that's done, you'll have to drive pretty much directly straight up. I always use the slow button until I make sure I clear everything, which it looks like I am. So then you take it up. Once you clear the dial, you can drive back and across. Once you are in a clear position again, you can drop the nozzle. So to drop the nozzle, you hit the setup, and then you go into the setup tab, hit jet setup enable, and then you'll go to nozzle and hit down. Once the nozzle drops, you can drive back in to the dial. Once you get close, you'll want to use the slow button and then lightly touch. So once you're touching, you'll use the one thou button, and then you'll use the slow button and the X to find your high spot. Sometimes the slow button is still too fast, so use the one thou button, and just keep clicking the X in either direction to find your high spot. Once you find it, you use the X, the Y minus to bring the dial to zero. So once you have zero on the dial, you'll come back over to the operation screen. Your Y will be your value that you're gonna put into the offset, so 17828. You go to the setup screen in the advanced tab Machine offsets, nozzle to A, you click that, 17.828, click OK, the system will power down and it's saved. So for the C to Arbor, you're going to be measuring X. You want to drive in X minus till you just touch, sweep with the Z till you find your high spot. One thou X minus till you're at zero, and then hit user zero. So you'll hit the user zero button, and that'll clear all these values out. So after you hit user zero, you'll go X plus, just to make sure you clear everything. Then you'll hit Y plus. You want to go quite a ways back because the C axis is actually going to turn all the way around. So once you get back to where you think, think you can safely turn, 
stop, go to the screen, deactivate the pendant, change C to 180, and turn it. Reactivate the pendant, and then you'll have to go further over to the X plus to clear all the motor and the jet. Then you'll hit Y minus until you clear the jet nozzle. Once you clear that, you'll use the X minus and bring it to the shaft. So once you clear all that, the jet and the motor, you'll need to drive into the X negative direction until you hit the shaft. Once you hit the shaft, you'll run the Z up and down until you find the high spot. Once you find it, use the one thou button and then click the X minus button until you hit zero. So for the C to Arbor, your X value is what you're going to need to put into the offset. So you'll take the 0 0.029, go into setup, and then it'll be C to Arbor. 0 0.029, hit OK. Power drops, it's saved. So this one's the arbor to A, and you'll be measuring the Z. So you'll need to touch the bottom of the shaft with the dial. Once you find the high spot, using your X, you will hold the one thou button and then Z down to zero. Once you get to zero, you'll hit user zero on the screen. So you'll hit the user zero button and that'll clear all these values out. Once you hit user zero, you can drive Z up, X in the positive direction, and then Y in the negative direction. And you'll drop Z down. And you want to be careful not to catch the side of the miter box. So it does get tight. And you'll need to go touch the bottom of the pin. And then sweep in the Y directions to find your high spot on the pin. Once you find the high spot, use the one thou button and Z down to zero. So the Z is your value, it is a negative number, but ignore the negative, where you are only after the numbers. So 2.441, you'll take setup, click the arbor to A, 2.441, click OK, power drops, it's saved. So this is the flange to A. You want to make sure this flange is all the way up against the arbor, nice and tight. You use the slow button, Y negative, until you touch. Then you'll use the one thou with the Y negative to get to zero. There's no need to swipe on the flange because it's already flat. Once you get zero, you'll hit user zero and drive to the back pin. We'll hit the user zero button, and that'll clear all these values out. So you use X positive and then Y negative to get to the back pin, being sure not to hit anything on the way. Z down. Y negative to the side of the pen until you touch. 
then sweep in the Z positive and negative directions till you find the high spot. Use the one fell button with Y negative to get to zero. So the Y is going to be your value, negative 17.25. Again, forget about the negative. Go into setup. On this machine, it is already that value, so there's no need to change it. If it were different, then you would need to change it. So this one's the A to C, and you're measuring the Y. So you'll want to just touch the pin, sweep your Z up and down until you find the high spot. Use the one thou button with Y negative until you hit zero. And then you'll hit user zero on the screen. User zero button, and that'll clear all these values out. So once you hit user zero, you'll want to drive away in the X positive direction so you're not hitting anything anymore. Then go in the Y positive direction until you're, I would say, three quarters of the way back on the table because the C is going to turn 180 and bring everything to the front. And this is a good time, too. You can run your X negative just to kind of get it closer to lined up to where it'll be. Turn C to 180. Once it's at 180, activate the pendant again and drive towards the pen in the Y direction. And then the X direction just to get lined up. Keep driving in the Y negative direction until you hit the pen. Once you hit the pin, use the Z, positive and negative, to find your high spot. Once you have the high spot, use the one thou button with Y negative until you hit zero. So for the A to C value, it's going to be the Y, 35.052. Go into setup, go to A to C. 35.052, hit OK, power dropped, it saved.